Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anka and I do art and illustration related videos. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and check out the other videos on my channel. So for today's video, I am painting another pet portrait. I know I've been doing this quite a lot in the last videos, but I did upgrade my tiers on Patreon and this is one of the benefits you can get if you pledge uh, to my $5 tier. So anybody who joins that tier can get a pet portrait in the original form through the post office. So today I'm painting a very cute French dog. Um, her name is Luna and I actually met the owner. <laughs> she was very excited to receive the portrait so thank you so much for reaching out to me and uh, joining my Patreon and I really hope uh, you like it and yeah. So to make this video more interesting, I thought it would be fun to ask you guys on Instagram, Patreon and YouTube if you had any assumptions about me. So um, I had quite a few interesting responses and I'm going to answer them right now in this video. So I'll begin with Instagram. Uh, somebody said that I think we're very much alike and we'd so be friends if we lived near to each other. So this person who replied to my uh, Insta story, I followed her for quite a while. We have very similar cats and yes, uh, we're into painting and I think we are very similar in many ways. So yeah, I guess we should totally be friends uh, if we live next to each other. Somebody else said, you pet any cat. <laughs> You see, this is very true, although sometimes cats do not cooperate, but I do try to pet any cat I see. Somebody also said, you are addicted to botanicals. I'm addicted to painting them, I'm not very good at taking care of them, I do have a few plants in my house. Only one has survived many years, others have uh, come and gone, <laughs> unfortunately. I'm still uh, trying to figure out how to best take care of house plants, but yes, I really love plants. I think they make everything look more cozy and I really enjoy painting them. Uh, nature is one of my main inspirations. So yeah, somebody said you don't really like sweets. Well, <laughs> I wish this were true, but it's not really. I love chocolate. I tend to eat a bit of chocolate every day and makes me happy so yeah I like sweets unfortunately somebody said you're very organized and enjoy your alone time this is very true I like to be organized as much as I can otherwise I don't think I, I would be able to have a day job and do YouTube and patreon and all the other stuff so yeah I tend to keep everything written down in um, notebooks or on my iPad I actually am just working on a organizing each patreon a reward into a, an, an excel so yeah i'm organizing stuff and i do enjoy my alone time sometimes i feel that working so hard on illustration and my youtube and stuff kind of drains me and i don't really feel like i have the social skills anymore so my social life has diminished quite a bit uh, since my university years and I do enjoy time alone a lot more than I did before. So I guess you're right about both things. Right, so I'll switch over to YouTube. So somebody said on YouTube, assumptions, a bit of a tomboy. You grew up fast and are very mature for your age. Your art re reflects you. So there are a few assumptions here. So I'll address the first one. I am sort of a bit of a tomboy. I do like wearing skirts and dresses but I choose to wear pants and uh, dress up more boyish, I guess. I, I don't think I am such a tomboy. Uh, I guess I just like more comfortable clothes and I'm not sure uh, what tomboy <laughs> really means. I used to think I was a tomboy when I w was growing up because I really uh, was not into pink stuff or flowers or anything. Uh, but now I think I've become more feminine and embraced my feminine side more. So it's a bit of both. You grew up fast and are very mature for your age. This is not really true. I think I matured uh, when I got my first job. Until then I was pretty much all over the place. I liked to party a lot. I liked to go out a lot. I didn't really think about my future or my career that much. So I think uh, having a steady job has uh, made me mature more. But I didn't grow up very fast. I mean, I was pretty 
uh, childish, <laughs> to be honest. Your art reflects you. I hope so. Uh, I mean, I draw and paint things I'm into, so it should reflect whatever my interests are. So somebody else on YouTube said that you're so rock and roll and a major babe. <laughs> uh, wow. Um, thanks. <laughs> she also said you loved doing art since you were a small child. You've been painting for a long time. I'll address the first one. You're so rock and roll and a major babe. I don't see myself like that. I do uh, like the whole rock and roll vibe and I sometimes try to uh, be like that, but I don't think I'm cool enough for that. But when I was uh, in high school, I tried to be very rock and roll. I was into the emo scene, I was into the hard rock scene. So yeah, maybe that translated a bit into my adulthood years, I guess. And about being a major babe, I, I, I just don't see myself like that. Uh, so you love doing art since you were a small child, that's very true. I've always loved drawing, I've loved watching other people draw. My mother and my father were both uh, into painting and art, so I think that kind of influenced me a bit. So yeah, I was into art from a very young age. You've been painting for a long time. Uh, I've been painting steadily and constantly since I was in the ninth grade, but I have uh, painted before. It's only then that I realized this is what I want to do as a career and I only took it seriously in my final year of, year of college. So yeah, I've been painting for a long time, but it was in uh, different stages of seriosity, if that makes sense. All right. And the last one from YouTube. Your favorite medium is acrylic gouache, but you also love metallic paints. Your favorite colors are green, gold, and red brown your favorite things to paint draw are animals and plants you love cats you would have lots of pets if you could you are a strong person who perseveres and is willing to try new things wow those are a lot of assumptions uh, most of them are true so i'll address the first one your favorite medium is acrylic gouache uh yes currently i reach out for that the most I do, however, really love watercolors. Uh, gouache and uh, watercolors are pretty much a tie always. I also love metallic paints. Yes, metallic paints are al always a great idea for me. Uh, I love incorporating them as much as I can in my paintings. I think they make everything look so much interesting and they add texture. So yeah, I love them. Your favorite colors are green, gold and red brown. Uh, I would add to this turquoise. Uh, teal ochre but yeah that's pretty much my palette and you can see it <laughs> in most of my videos your favorite things to paint draw are animals and plants yes that's pretty obvious i used to love drawing and painting people but now i kind of strayed away from that i'm not sure why i hope i will get more into portraits and stuff like that you love cats that's pretty obvious uh, you would have lots of pets if you could i would but not at the current stage in my life. I tried having two cats, as some of you may know. It didn't really work out because I live in a very small apartment and I would like to give them the space they need to be happy. So if I move to a bigger house, then yes, I would get maybe a cat, maybe a dog. And I think that's pretty much it because otherwise my boyfriend will murder me. You are a strong person uh, who perseveres and is willing to try new things. I like to think so, um, I like to think that I have become stronger over the years and definitely more persuasive towards my goals and I'm always willing to try new things especially when it comes to illustration, even to art supplies or uh, new mediums, so that's why I started uh, dabbling into embroidery and into clay, so yeah, I hope this is true, I like to think so. And now I'm going to go over to my Patreon responses. Someone said if you enter a bookshop or an art supply one, you will most likely stay a lot in there. Uh, this is also very true. Usually when I travel to a foreign country, I usually search for an art supply store whenever I'm there so I can get something that I can find in my hometown. And if I do an end up going to one, I usually end up buying a lot of stuff. Same with bookstores or any type of stores that have um, illustrated stuff from local artists, anything like that with stationery and stuff like that. 
I love. Somebody else said, I assume that the, co the color choices for your art come easily to you. Yeah, I guess so. I don't really think too much about it. I have certain colors that I know will work with other colors and that I love. So I usually tend to go for those. I rarely stray from my color palette, as you see. And if I do, I feel a bit of uh, uncomfortable and <laughs> I will usually add in another color that makes me feel comfortable. Somebody else said, if you have a lot of brushes, you still only use a few that are your favorites very true i mostly use arteza and milan brushes and i like to use pretty much the same same ones you see me use a lot of the really small brushes for details those are my favorites and i do have a couple of big brushes but i don't really do big painting so yeah and the last one is you don't actually like metallic paints that much even though you use them quite often yeah, this is not true. I really love metallic paints. Uh, the Fine Tech palette that I have is probably one of my favorite art supplies and every time I reach for it, I really enjoy using it. So yeah, I love metallic paints. So I guess this is it. If uh, anybody else wrote any assumptions after this, I will try to answer them pr uh, privately or yeah, maybe in another video. But thank you so much to everybody who submitted their assumptions. I think this was really fun. Um, I might do this in the future and hopefully some of you will assume uh, worse things about me. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the speed painting. I didn't really talk too much about the illustration I did. I used uh, my Prima watercolor set and the Fine Tech metallic colors. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!